give you guys those reviews because I like to ball on a budget, baby, as you can see. Hey party people and welcome back to another video. I am so glad you guys are joining me here today again. Um, if it's not your first time, then welcome back. If it is your first time, then welcome to the family. Um, I am bringing you another hair review. So you guys really liked the other hair review that I did for Moon Magic Hair. Um, I got a lot of good reviews, a lot of views, um, and I'm very happy that you guys like that. So what I did this time, I made sure that I got every single clip of the process of how I got this hair to be how it is. And if you really want to get into it, I go through the ins and the outs, the ups and downs of Rue Linda hair, of the hair that I'm wearing right now. Um, again, before we start, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell because again, you keep coming back. You like it, I love it, okay? Um, these really cute hexagon earrings that I'm wearing right now are from Rossi P. I shouted him out in his jewelry line um, in my last video and I just want you know you guys to know that I am still wearing these bad boys faithfully because they're really really cute. And then another black owned store that I decided to you know give my coins to is the Identity of She. I bought this shirt from the identity of she it's on instagram um, the identity of she is an instagram boutique i believe it's owned by let me get the card ebony lacy um i'll put all of her socials down below so you guys can cop this shirt So if you can read this shirt it says my weight is none of your concern unless i am sitting on your face and i thought that was absolutely perfect it was so cunning so witty and it definitely describes me my brand the audience that i'm trying to cater to so I just had to get it. Um, when I bought this shirt, it was like kind of in the middle or the start of this whole COVID. So it took a while to get here, but I'm really glad. Um, if you go on her site, you're able to kind of customize the shirt a little bit. You can change the color of the wording and the actual color of the shirt. I love pink. So I decided to go with pink. Um, so yeah, let me stop scrambling. I um, For this hair review, I show you, you know, my unboxing of the hair. I show you bleaching of the knot and also I think I do a little bit of plucking maybe um, I think I definitely I know I for sure give you the bleaching of the knots plucking just takes a long time so I might not have a little bit of that in there for you um, but you know if you want to kind of fast forward through all of those steps you're more than welcome to and you know you can hit up the actual pros and cons a bit of this video a little later on so let's get into it Okay, so today's review is going to be from Rulinda Hair. This is the box. Don't mind the crunched boxiness because, you know, USPS going to do what they're going to do. So, this is the hair. It is an 18-inch body wave. I think it's a free part. Um, free part width. It's a 13 by 4, I think. So this is the wig. Let me take all this stuff out of it. So it has a really nice color. Really nice color. This is the front of it. I guess it has like a little front made part just in case, which I really like. I also like that it's not too much black. Um, I like more red. This is a very gorgeous kind of like a cherry color um, it smells like hair um, it doesn't smell bad like it doesn't smell like product it doesn't smell like uh, anything like that so this is what it is coming out of the box um, I'm gonna wash it and I'm also going to bleach the knots this is the inside of it so I think it's a 13 by 4 usually I like 13 by 6 so I'm gonna make it work you know comes with all uh, four pins one two three and then four and then a little lace in the back in case you want to make a ponytail so this is the hair 
and then it comes with just a wig cap too and then nothing else so this is what we are looking at right out the box <clears throat> so now let's get to the bleaching process we have our wig I don't use a regular bowl I use this little um, mug or whatever I got it from Target so if you guys like that get it from Target um, and then I also have some salon care 30 volume developer a butter knife because I like the way it spreads on the powder on the wig versus a regular spatula but I might use it to mix it up we don't know we don't know I have this big old bucket from from Sally's Beauty because um, I used to like make my own wigs um, so I used to use a lot of that so we're gonna use this and then also this is like our secret ingredient this is color corrector I also got this from Sally's um, and it's used to make sure that the knots that you're bleaching aren't gonna be really brassy because we want something you know really natural and this helps with that so I got gloves because you know this is about to get messy I like my powder consistency to be like um, kind of like toothpaste that's how thick I want it so I kind of eyeball these cups I know this is like three so far that should be good for the whole head see how thick it is um, that's kind of how I need it for these knots all right and so before we put this wow before we put this on the knots we need to add our color corrector I'm gonna do quite a few Okay, so in total, I think that was like eight drops. So a tip that I learned with bleaching your knots, start at the back first because the density of the hair is the most thickest towards the back of the wig. Um, and also the hair towards the front is a lot more thinner you know that's where your baby hairs goes and all that other stuff so we want to make sure that we don't put too much or we want to make sure that the bleach isn't sitting too long in the front versus the back so let me prep this so I can get I'm going to do 15 minutes. And then we're going to do the front of the hair. So stay tuned. Okay, so 
that was 15 minutes with just the back being done I kind of want to show you guys what it starts to look like after a minute can y'all see that I don't think y'all can see so I don't know if you guys can see particularly um, the zoom I don't know how to work the zoom on this fancy camera but I'm gonna work on that but you can see kind of that some strands at the roots are lining up and that's what we need we just need the whole ball of the hair to do so as well so now we're just gonna do the front so we have the after bleached washed wig as you can see the knots have become a lighter brown which is exactly what we want not really brassy and hopefully when i lay this bad boy down it's gonna look like really good <laughs> okay so now you guys have been through my unboxing of the hair and the bleaching of the knots let's get down to the nitty-gritty of this hair um let me tell you guys what i like and what i don't like now first let's start with the pros the pros I love this color I love the root to hair ratio I absolutely love it this is the type of 99 J burgundy that I absolutely love it's just so so pretty it complements a slew of skin colors um, especially when it looks right like you don't want a 99 J looking too bright red it's supposed to be like a cherry cola type of vibes and this is what the hair is providing to me um, so I really like that Another thing that I liked about this hair was how well the knots kind of took to the bleach. Um, I didn't have to, you know, keep bleaching it quite a few times. I, you know, had to do it maybe once, the back front, the back first, and then the front. And it took maybe a total of 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes, which isn't bad at all. Um, so the tips that I use to kind of make sure that the bleaching doesn't make the hair brassy or anything like that really helped. Um, and so I really do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I love the length of it. If there was no smell. Um, those are definitely the good pros of this hair. And now let's get to these cons. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm keeping a buck with y'all because I change my hair often. I want to be able to provide you a review that's honest. Um, of course, I, you know I spend my own money on this hair, so of course I'm gonna give y'all the real. Um, even though I did have quite a few things that I did like um, the lace, I had to play around with this lace because even though the part of the lace that bleached well you know that turned lighter things like that the little bit of the excess um you know the little excess that you gotta melt down or whatever has a hue to it that's like a grayish undertone so it took me a minute to even blend it to even look okay on camera now the real test would be if i start to take pictures with this very high quality camera and then you're gonna really be able to clock the lace but for right now how it looks right now it's okay um but i will say that you know if they upgraded their lace uh i believe they would just bring even more customers because i know they have a good uh, you know customer range or customer amount um but in this day and age of 2020 like we need hd laces we need transparent laces there is no reason why companies shouldn't be able to provide that for us like you know it just makes the selling easier it makes the customers happy things like that so i for my con i will say i had to play around with the lace you know you might be able it looks okay like i said it looks okay on camera far away but you know if you get a little closer you might have to clock it um so keep that in mind again um you know you know, a few pros but little cons um, but overall I'm very 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 happy with this hair I did have to play with it again I'm letting you guys know I did have to play with this lace to make it look somewhat presentable but other than that I really did like this hair I like the way it took to the bleaching I love the color the hold of it um, it is a 13 by 4 lace I don't know if I mentioned that 
earlier but it is a 13 by 4 I usually am a 13 by 6 girl because I love the amount of space you can do with the frontal however this is okay it came in like a, a bell shape the way the lace was you guys seen it in my unboxing um so i would actually kind of add that as a con the way the lace is shaped to, for it to be a 13 by 4 it makes it kind of limited with a parting space so that's why i kind of had to do this um ponytail which came out still pretty good um the, the hair was soft as well um i don't know if i added that but i want to like make sure that you guys know that this hair is pretty soft i don't want to take the curls out of it um as you can see it's holding the curls pretty well so again that is um, a plus so yeah like I said I want to be able to provide you guys um, hair reviews that are built on like honesty trust and I want to also provide you guys hair reviews of affordable options now this company is from Aliexpress if you know about Aliexpress you know that it is the hookup to get vendors for eyelashes clothes hair etc because most of the vendors are in China so you know you get better vendors at a better price and most of those vendors do make their sales on Aliexpress so I had to dig a little bit on Aliexpress to even find this perfect hair color that I really wanted because of course you know they have some of them have a lot of the same hair like photos uh, it's like customer photos and you have to be careful as far as that I definitely looked through all of the reviews and so far other people have liked this hair now they were probably able to finesse the lace a lot better than me um, because I'm still pretty new at like this whole lace game as a lot of you may know or like my close friends may know I used to make my own wigs and so I had you know a lot of trial and error as far as that but the hair game is constantly changing constantly evolving um, so I'm, I want to make sure I you know up my lace laying game and it's okay today it's okay I ain't mad at it um, so so yeah so this is my rue linda hair review i really hope you guys like it be able to i want to be able to provide more hair reviews for you guys in the future um i don't know how often because again i have to like actually buy these things and i don't want to be spending up all my monies so when i be able to when i come across some even more affordable hair options um i'm definitely going to give you guys those reviews because i like to ball on a budget baby as you can see so so thank you, Rulinda Hair. Um, I'm really glad I did stumble across your site. Hopefully, you know, I can be a repeat customer and a loyal customer um, because this color was everything. Like, it fulfilled all of my fantasies, like, honestly. So that's it for the review. Again, I hope you guys like it. Um, I will be giving you some more videos. I'm going out of town this week. I'm going back home to Chicago. I'm trying to give you guys a vlog style type of um, video for next Friday or the following Friday. I still have to do my nails, so please rest assured that that video will be coming to you guys as well. I just wanted to... <clears throat> oh, Lord. I just wanted to give you guys just a little bit of something different and I hope you guys are excited for this vlog as I am because I really like vlogs and I hope you guys like vlogs. I hope you guys like vlogs especially from my very beautiful city of Chicago. So I can't wait to so I can't wait to provide you guys those videos. Uh, thank you again for watching. Please leave all your positive comments down below and you know constructive criticism is welcome as well as long as it's constructive. Okay, don't be no hate up in my comment section if I have to fry your ass up. So, <laughs> thank you again, guys. Um, let me link another one of these hair videos for you. One of my shoe reviews, one of my try on hauls. It's something in this playlist that's gonna grab your attention. So, let me link one of those bad boys down for you. And, um, you know, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.